What's going on guys? Welcome back to Print Pros. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make one of the hottest selling items on Etsy, personalized coffee mugs. I'll take you through the entire design process from setting up your design in your SignMaster Card Arms vinyl cutting software program to stacking and transferring your heat transfer vinyl onto your mug. I'm gonna use it to apply a heat transfer vinyl design onto two coffee mugs. I'll also tell you about some of the amazing features of Recoma's state-of-the-art mug heat press. But before we get started, remember to subscribe to our channel and smash that like button so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Let's start by taking a look at our materials. For this project, we'll need two blank coffee mugs, heat transfer vinyl, a Teflon sheet, the RCP 6301 25 inch vinyl cutter, and of course, the Recoma mug heat press. So first I will go into my software and upload my design. We're gonna go here into file, we're gonna go to import, and it's gonna be PB&J mugs. And we're gonna go ahead and import it as editable, accept, the reason I selected import as editable image is because since my designs are already unstacked, it's easier for me to select each layer of my design. We also recommend to have your design unstacked. This means to make sure that your design has your layers separated from one another so that it makes the process easier, such as cutting, weeding, and pressing onto your mug. So what we would do now is select my first layer, the actual bread, and then I'm going to select the apple icon on the top and then select Create Cut Contour. And a pop-out window will appear with our selected layers. Our settings are good, so let's click Accept. Once that's done, I'll load my first vinyl sheet into my cutter and lock it in place. Then I'll set my speed at 300, my cutting force at 200, and my blade is on level four. So let's go back to our software. Now I'm going to the top and select the cut icon. Since this is a heat transfer vinyl, I want to be sure my mirror is selected. Perfect. Let's now run an area test and select OK. Now that that's set, all that's left to do is to cut out my design. So we are going to select Cut Now and click Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess vinyl. All right, one layer down. Now let's go ahead and do the rest of them. All right, so for the second layer, I'm gonna select this portion of the bread, the inside portion. So same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my apple, create cut contour, I'm gonna hit accept. And then same thing, I'm gonna go to my cutter. And right over here, just make sure that mirror is selected. I'm gonna go ahead and do my area test. Go ahead, uh, select cut now, proceed with cutting, select yes. So now we are going to repeat the same steps for the following layers.
Now that our designs have been cut, it's time to weed out our excess vinyl. We'll begin with the bread. Now the peanut butter. And the jelly. The squiggly lines. And finally, our letters. Be sure to carefully remove the holes of each letter using the weeding tool. Now that my designs have been weeded, it's time to go ahead and decorate my mugs using the Recoma heat press mug. All right, here we have the new Recoma mug heat press. So I'm gonna set my desired time and temperature using the Recoma mugs digital LCD display. For this project, I'll press my mug for 30 seconds at 310 degrees for my first layer. While my press heats up, let's talk about some of the different features of this press. This high pressure clamshell style heat press is constructed with steel and aluminum, making it durable and able to handle frequent usage. Its clamp mechanism ensures even heat dispersion and pressure across your mug. In addition to coffee mugs, the mug heat press can be used to personalize everything from tumblers to large water bottles with crisp, clear graphics, photos, text, and more. If you're interested in learning more about our mug press or picking up one for yourself, I'll be sure to leave a link to the product page in the card above in the description below. All right, my press has reached 310 degrees. Now I'm just gonna take the first layer of my design. All right, so a quick tip for this, you wanna make sure that you stretch this out as much as possible to prevent bubbles. And right now I'm just going over it with my squeegee for that same reason, to prevent any kind of bubbles or any kind of, kind of bunching. Perfect. Then wrap it around the mug facing down with a Teflon sheet to protect my mug. Now I'm, I'm going to put my mug inside my platen and lock my press into place. All right, that's done. Now the heat transfer vinyl that I'm using recommends a hot peel, so I can immediately peel this off my mug. Now I'm gonna take my second layer and carefully line it up with my first. And then place my Teflon sheet to protect my mug. And press my mug again. Of course, this is only one layering method you can use when working with heat transfer vinyl. You can also create what are known as registration marks in your software and then stack your design onto a single transfer sheet before transferring the entire design onto your mug. I went into greater detail on this layering method in a past Print Pros episode. I'll leave a link to it in the card above and the description below so you can check it out. Now I'll just go ahead and peel this off and start stacking my other layers. And once I've peeled my final layer, I'm gonna go ahead and do a final press for 45 seconds so that I can permanently seal the design to my mug. And just like that, we have our first custom coffee mug. Now, let's go for the jelly.
And with that, our custom mugs are ready to go. Now that our mugs have been decorated, let's talk about our potential profit we could make by selling them online. We bought our blank coffee mugs online for $2 a piece, so together we spent $4. And we used about $3 worth of vinyl, so in total we're in for this project at around $7. However, once decorated, you can easily sell your custom coffee mugs online for more than $20. That's a 65% profit margin! All right, that's all the time we have for today. As always, if you found any of this information helpful, remember to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click the notification bell so you can be notified when we post new content. Also, don't forget to follow us on Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery on Facebook, where we share helpful tips daily. Not to mention, there are over 33,000 members in there that can help you out as well. We're also active on Instagram, where we share tips, stories, and many how-to tutorials for everything embroidery and printing related. Links to our social media channels can be found in the description below, along with a link to the videos mentioned in this episode. And if you have any decorating tips or ideas you'd like to see in a future episode of Print Pros, then be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.